Hi, I'm Adam C and welcome to Japfest in Donington. And this is the second Japfest of the year. So we're going to look around at some of the cars and this video is brought to you by carhuddle.com, the free online car show directory. And we start off the video with a stanced tricycle slash wheelchair. Well, it's a wheelchair, but it's got a front wheel, so it's a tricycle and he's got camber. And the first car has left his bonnet at home and his engine bay is showing off the material of a stage floor. And his exhaust has been neatly welded to his diffuser. This R34 has the wing from a McLaren Senna on the back. And the rear tires are on show, so more smoke comes from him when he does the send. 350Z with some rose gold wheels and a slight yellowy tint. Next to it, some rust bucket Subaru. This guy has managed to match his wheels with his windscreen. Not a lot of people can say that. Very brave. We've got the S2000 section of that one over there. Has the lovely hard top. I do like the hard top, but I do like the wind beneath my hair or under my hair, through my hair. I have hair, I'm not bald. So my RX-8 will not be here because it currently has a 2JZ in it and is in some other country like Indonesia. Whereas most of these still have their Renesis rotaries. I don't know how they've made it here today. This is quite the miracle. Jesus must be somewhere. Saying that my RX-8 has a 2J, this one must also have a 2J because this is section 2J. By the way, it's not going to be standard because look at that filter in the mouth. And the current cheapest Sensmobile on the market today, the Lexus IS200, along with some fencing, we're doing a drive-by. This is a Merlot. Someone's revving a rotary, probably trying to flame. This Lexus has the new star grille and a twin turbo V8 in it. So we start with the modified crew, wide body RX-8 and a lovely RX-7. And this RX-8 has a large wing on the back and some bronze wheels. And the exhaust is like a side exit, but not. It's like a corner exit. And he's been cutting shapes into his diffuser with his flames. And this RX-8 seems to be in the Renault liquid yellow color, which I adore. And we've got some GTRs. This Nismo has been doing some off-roading, you can tell because his front wheels have been kicking up dirt. And this guy, I'm gonna call him Lewis for obvious reasons, wants to be seen, so he's got high-vis on his car, but he's forgot to wrap the bonnet, which is uh, obviously carbon fiber for added less weight. I hear noises, and oh my God, a Marlboro Nissan 350Z. I love a livery. This RX-8 has a rather bold request on the number plate. And this Civic has a rather bold statement on his number plate. <laughs> this hentai fan has forgotten to wrap some parts of his car. So he's got some white, he's got the orange original colour, he's got a carbon wing, and he's also got another carbon wing and some mesh over the headlights to make them look evil. It is a Nispen. This R33 is an advertisement for internal combustion. The specification on this Subaru is rather puzzling. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> An MX-5 with the rear number plate deletes. I, I really hope that that revolves James Bond spiral to reveal the number plate or hide it when he's in police chases, which he will lose. Ah, look, it's the purple 350Z from Jack Best Silverstone with the yellow interior. I think he needs brave yellow wheels to match the brave yellow interior. And Pikachu! Hmm, tasty RX-7 with lots of mods. He's really gone to town with the strut rigidity of this car. An R33 Skyline, an S15 Sylvia, and the Mitsubishi L200 pickup with side pipes and rims. That's brave. Dude is that, 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 Supra! And this Supra has ditched his honorable 2J for a V8. Everything's wrong about this, but I love it. He's got gold Toyota logo, gold Supra logo, gold wheels, gold brace, and a red Instagram tag. What? And none of the flags, we have the hedge at the MX-5 section. So let's see what's going on with this MX-5. He's got a new rear wing that he hasn't painted. He's got rotors on the rear, but he hasn't funded the rotors on the front yet. He's debadged it, but hasn't painted it. Just got the primer down there. He's got the squinty square headlights, which I don't think look cool and some different wing mirrors. And this MX-5 looks like it has been painted by hand. And a Mark 1 with some rattle canned blue and some rattle canned orange with stripes and some orange. I don't, I don't know why there's orange there, but there is. Probably used to be pink as well, because there's some pink there. And this 300ZX is an advert for braveness with his pink front wheels. Not the rear, because, you know, some child has come along and stuck his crayons inside his wheels. Oh my god, look at it go. There's an aerial flapping. And here is the culprit for the wobbly aerial, which has been supercharged. That's brave, no. It's not brave, it's gold. Gold is fine. Actually, the choice of caliper is brave. It's turquoise. I like turquoise. Another Subaru making sure we know what a 
what a Subaru sounds like. I'm going to go over to it. Oh, look at the wing on this R31. That's unusual. The guy with this Subaru's got a bit to carry away with the gold. And look, flares. When do you see flares? I always wish that I'd bought a massive spoiler for my RX-8. I mean, cars like this just make me jealous. It's the Z Crew. That logo has seen better days. White Chasers. White Chasers? Everybody loves the White Chaser. You don't often see Mark written like that. Hi, Mark. Hey, guys. Guess what colour these wheels are? They are brave in colour. I might just start calling Chasers Send Me because that's all they do. It's a legend! You never see a legend. Over here we've got two Nissan Primeras, but which one do I prefer? Yeah, that's right, the one with the livery and not the squeaky belt. He's going out for a session on the... Nismo? Nismo? But the liveried one has a Honda engine for added limiter bashing. Oh. That colour is flipping. I'm going to bet about five million pounds that this guy has called his car the Batmobile at some point in his life. Now what looks like what's happened here is he's gone for the nice vinyls, but then someone's crashed into his door, so he's got the new door and the vinyls have not continued yet onto the door. However, that's also happened on the other side, so I, I don't know. I have spotted this Nissan Micra, which is green and has a bumper on its bumper to bump the bumper so the bumper doesn't bump. Reads GC86s. Pulsars seem to love having multiple nostrils. One day we're going to see a bonnet with about a thousand holes in it to show off his amount of nostrils. So in today's RX8 Owners Club, we have this lovely convertible RX7. Ah, here we go. This RX8 was not happy with just having suicide dolls. He had to have the Lambo dolls in it as well. It was also street-ported supercharged. Oh, someone else has got Lambo dolls because they didn't like the suicide dolls being the only feature on the car. He's also got brave orange wheels. Let's have a look at this one. Evil headlights, a double strut bar, lots of purple in the engine bay, and a purple little tag on the front. You've got the original rear lights, you've got the facelift rear lights which have been tinted, and then standard facelift rear lights, and then Lamborghini Aventador rear lights. And I'm a little bit ashamed to say that one of the best modified cars here is a van that's not even Japanese. Take a look at this transit! So we've got a lineup of cars waiting to go on the track, we've got an RX-8, we've got a Toyota Mr. 2, and a McLaren Senna. Right, the retail section which always has some tasty cars. This Supra it has a number plate Soup 12A, but he's put the 12 together so it looks Looks like an arse, so it's spouse Supra! It's also got about a thousand horsepower, which is enough. And it is next to a lovely black RX-7. And this sound is drawn in a crowd with its R34 GTC and an R33 with a wing on top of the wing. So we've got a Nissan Micra with the Rising Sun, which is a relatively small car. However, part next to a S660, it looks huge! So this is the Liberty Walk Honda S660. They haven't really done much. It's not wide-bodied, but it has been slightly modified, but it's a bit of a unicorn because there's only about six or seven of these in the UK. I can never remember the exact figure. These are all imported from Japan. These are 660cc engines, turbocharged obviously, and manual, and probably a barrel of fun. You can hear the turbocharge behind your head. It sounds amazing. Also this rather clean Integra Type R with wide arches, a rear diffuser, a bit of tyre shine on the tyres, and the newer style of seats from the FK8. Here's a top tip for you JDM fans, if you want to modify your car but don't want to do too much to it, just paint the wheels gold or bronze, that's all you need to do. Don't put a useless wing on the car because useless wings are for penguins. Put a well, apparently that's not useless on this S2000 with added rust for less weight. The rear wheels on this Civic stick out quite far. They have been overly spaced to fill the bolt-on arches. Also got a R33 with carbon fibre style bonnet in silver rather than the darker colour as seen on this Civic. Oh, there's so many RX-8s revving in the distance. Someone's popping in the distance. Let's have a swift look at these cars. That one's got some red bits on the front bumper and some tyre writing. And here we have one of the cleanest EK9s in the country. And this minty fresh Accord, which has been lowered with wide arches and re-sprayed in this toothpaste colour. Ah, oh, look at the candle on this RX-8. Talking of RX-8s, there seems to be an RX-8 popping away over here. This guy is trying to do an engine delete. <laughs>
Exploded yet. The plastic off the bumper is getting slightly warm. I think if he'd continued, he might have decided to do a bumper delete. So this is the facelifted RX8, so you would expect it to have a stronger engine, especially after all those flames. Over here, we have a Subaru which isn't blue or grey and it's also sat on the floor with some white wheels. That would not get any, well it's going to be on air, it's not going to be static because that would not even get up the smallest of hills. So let's take a look at this graphite grey Mark 1 MX-5. He's got some slightly wider wheel arches, some chrome wheels, deep dish on the rear and some speakers that are almost as big as the steering wheel. No, they're probably bigger than the steering wheel, I'd say. And then he's gone for this single rear light conversion, a large power flow exhaust on the back, and a little lip on the hard top roof, which I think looks quite nice. Ooh, it's a purple GTR. This looks quite fantastic. This is the face of GTR with a big spoiler on the back in purple. Cream developments. Oh, yeah, I know that one. I like that a lot. Are they leaving already? And here we have a Plymouth Barracuda. This this looks like a muscle car. It looks like a Dodge Challenger or something like that. But it's actually a Nissan Skyline R33. I know that Rocket Bunny did this kind of kit for the S14, but this is the first R33 Skyline. I feel like I need to prove to you that this is in fact an R33. Take a look at the back. There you go. R33 Skyline with twin central exhaust. Another random take on the Skyline's exit exhaust. But next to that is something also rather peculiar. This obviously is a Subaru, but if it was to start off, it would not sound like one because it's got an RB26 and the front of it. It's also quite wide at the back and quite a short wheelbase. I don't know why. Probably more of a competition car rather than a show car, but still, RB26 in a Subaru. Yes, more liveries, Castrol on this Civic and a yellow chaser. Everyone loves a yellow chaser? A 370Z making a statement on the green lights insurance stand and an Evo and a DC5. Ah, check out this Suzuki in the petrol station. He's even got yellow tire writing. Hashtag fast car. Is it, is it fast? So we have entered the Sherwin Shrine stand which has a green drifty wide arched S14. That's probably been sideways a few times in its life, I'd imagine. But next to that is a lovely RX7 in a very dark purple maroon kind of colour. However, on here is a S15 with some questionable modifications. Some turquoise, some green, and behind the end plates is a duck. And the exhaust on this S14 is down here of all places. It's got uh, a baseball bat holding up the engine which is a V8. Just to annoy all the JDM purists. As soon as any Japanese JDM car has an LS in it, everyone loses their minds. So next to it, this RX-7 has played it safe and he's still got his rotary and it has not yet blown Well, he might have blown up. It might have been on its 18th rebuild. Who knows? Anyway, and further along the line, we've got this slammed Subaru with brave wheels. They almost look diamond cut. And some chrome graphics. He's got the re-stitched seats. So there's only two in the back. And two ducktail spoilers, some tint rear lights and the quad exhausts. And sharing the twin ducktail spoiler is this lovely red S15. And next to that is an 1000 horsepower Toyota Supra with dragster style rear wheels for added grip for the drag strip. And over here is 180SX with rear bumper deletes and an exhaust that faces downwards so the flames go boom. and a lovely R32 Skyline with one of the largest front splitters I've seen. This is all full carbon splitter, carbon bonnets, a dark purple in colour and a large carbon wing which is on top of a small carbon wing. Ah, uh, do you know what he's done as well? He's left one of his headlights at home. What's he done that for? And further along we've got another R32 which gives us a chance to play a game of what's inside your car. In this week's episode we have this little fellow over here who's been waiting for turbo to kick in. Moods are still high. The Subaru has decided to take one of his
his grills now, so fill it in so his car can't breathe quite as well. He's also taken his number plate off, so he's an illegality in the world. However, this RX-7 has one of the largest turbos I've seen. He also doesn't appear to have any friends because he's taken the passenger seats out. Oh, look, it's my reflection, hello. It appears he used to have a slightly different wing where the struts came out the rear, which I think I would prefer personally. Who knows what happened to that one? <laughs> I'd imagine that fixing this splitter properly would take less time than cable tying the hell out of it like that. Nice green Toyota Supra. I do like dark green cars. Has it got gold? Yes, it's got gold wheels. Nice combo. However, it is an automatic. But further along, we've got the new Toyota Supra who is being almost ignored because it's stock. I am looking forward to people doing warranty delete modifications on these Supras. Even as standard in the interior, we've got carbon fiber. I'm looking forward to a manual Supra option as well, but there you go, there is the interior of the new Toyota Supra. 2J would fit in there nicely. <laughs> We've also got this Time Attack Toyota Mr. 2 and the Nissan Skyline R34 with kind of bits all over it. People seem to enjoy slamming Toyota Supras these days. This one looks rather incredible with rotiform wheels. I like how he has made sure that the rotiform logo stays straight, much like a Rolls Royce. So we've got another lineup of cars. We've got Supra, 300ZX and more Lambo doors, this time on a Subaru. I don't think I've seen Lambo doors on a Subaru before. I say Lambo doors, they actually close slightly differently. They have to kind of close downwards like that and then shut. That's the way they work, these kind of doors. They don't really close smoothly like a Lambo because that would cost too much an investment. You've got a green Subaru, a brave choice of colour, not just wheel colour, and some more Subarus further along here. And then onto the Evo stand over there. And opposite the Evolution stand, we've got the Skyline stand, which has a Hakasuka Skyline. Everyone loves one of these. This R33 looks like he's got two jawbreakers in his cheeks. R35 GTR, R34 GTR, R33. GTR with gobstockers in his cheeks. His car's been whining all day. Okay, that sleeker sounds a bit better now. I reckon this is supercharged. So we've got the Celica section, we've got all these lovely Celicas over here, including this. Um, oh my god, someone has proposed at Japfest. It says, it's back to front, Jess, will you marry me? Well done, Jess, and I'm going to name you Mr. X. Mr. X and Jess, congratulations. And venturing into the public car park displays a few slightly different cars. Obviously, the public car park will have some non-Japanese cars, such as this BMW 3 Series, who seems like he has recently rattle canned it in this unusual shade of green. This is a relatively new car, but it's been treated like it's from the 90s. There's even overspray on the tires and even a little bit on the rims as well and obviously a lot of overspray on the wing mirror I couldn't remember the name of the wing mirror and some blotchiness on the bonnet and some overspray on the badge for good measure oh, you can see where he's masked up there uh, it was a silver car beforehand there's also a Subaru with a large spoiler on the back very long struts and just behind this motorhome is something quite special it's a purple S14, who would have thought that? The guy in this Civic thought he was brave, but then he got a bit nervous and gave up. And this BMW 5 Series has been shot at. Literally shot at. Are we in America? Brave. And here we have a 350Z in blue like mine, with blue titanium exhaust tips like mine and twin back box like mine, but also gold wheels like a Subaru which is why I don't think I'm gonna put gold wheels on my car but maybe bronze and to match the gold wheels he's got gold fridge door handles and some gold interior pieces as well and it's for sale but that was pretty much that from Japfest Donington there's a plane above bear with So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for all the posts from these car shows that I go to and extra information about all the car shows that I visit. But for now, thanks for watching.